Kyrie 091 hanging out with you, boy. Oh boy, are we gonna have big fun today? Playing some more Final Fantasy Tactics. So let's take a look at Sidophilus, Sidophilus, Sidolfas, I don't know, or Londu, known as TG Sid, Thunder God Sid. He was an undefeated leader of the Nantan Knights during the 50 year war. Uh, Orlando is, um, yeah, he, he was held at Bethlehem Garrison for planning a rebellion against Prince Goltana, which he didn't actually plan. I think he was like framed, but he escaped with the help of his son and Olin, his son, Olin and you. That's Ramza, of course. And here's Olin. Uh, he is the adoptive son of Thunder God Sid. So there you go. There's some information about Olin. So despite being with the Nanten Knights, which at the beginning of the game were like the enemies of the Hokuten, which is what Ramza was. It's weird because now Ramza is no longer with the Hokuten. And he's like hanging out with Orlando, who was with the Nanten, but isn't anymore. I guess it's a little bit complicated. I can see how people might get lost in this game if they, you know, are dumb. I don't know. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and move right on here. Um... In a few episodes, I'm gonna start doing some poaching. I'm gonna poach this guy and that guy. I'm running out of room to, to keep people. I need to kick somebody out of my party. I honestly, I might kick Malak out. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see. Let's go to Poeska's Lake, guys. Poeska's Lake is a pretty cool um, arena. I think you'll agree. No, we're not bringing you Agrius. Agrius served her purpose. We had a wonderful time with her, but her time is over. We are bringing Orlando with his Excalibur and all of his crystal gear. Let's go ahead and get started. Orlando is just crazy good. Like, he's too good. He's too good. That's all there is to it. He's too freaking good. It almost makes the game not fun to use Orlando because he's just so freaking powerful. Ooh, I like this song. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. There's Zodiac Stones. Hand it over that. We can go to a higher dimension. Okay, so we're fighting ghosts? Hmm. I probably could have more well prepared for this. I knew I'd be fighting ghosts, too. I knew there are a few battles in this game where you just have to fight a bunch of ghosts. This one, you go to woods. There's probably other ones. I probably could have prepared for this a little better. Oh, well. So... When I say that Orlando is just a little bit too powerful, this is kind of what I'm talking about. The fact that he can do like this. Oh, I can't hit her. I wonder why, because her height is too much. Well, I can't reach anyone now. I'm kind of just stuck here doing nothing. All right, well, I'll do something later. Go ahead and wait. I kind of put Orlando in a bad place here. I don't know. I wish I would have looked into... The oh, shit. I hope he doesn't get don't acted. That could be trouble if he does. Let's kill this ghost. Yeah, we'll kill him. Hit him. Thank you. Poach was successful. He still has secret hunt on him. I didn't even remember that. If I would have noticed that, I would have given him, um... <coughs> I would have given him, a uh, Concentrate so he couldn't be blocked, but whatever. I accidentally gave him secret hunt. Okay, so that's lame. Ramza is a bard, which kind of sucks, but... Aimless song. Let's do that and see what happens. So because Rams is a bard, there's really no reason to ever let him get into the thick of things up here. Um... He, I'm probably gonna have him jump, so that's not gonna work. Haste you. And let's move you up here so you also get hasted. Hopefully. Yay! Awesome. All right, Orlando's permanently hasted. The Excalibur sword that he has equipped, it leaves him like hasted all the time. It's it's a little bit wacky. Okay. No uh, no no. Oh boy, auto potion. Thank you for guarding that. I'm worried about their summoner. That's who I'm worried about right now. This person is gonna give us trouble. See? You see how they do? Okay, now she's off her little perch thing, so we can probably reach her a little bit better. Let's move over here. Alright, Summoner. You're getting jumped upon for a lot of damage. Holy cow, that's going to kill her. 
Okay. Bump, bum, bum. Uh, let's see. Who can I hit? I want to hit that Oracle so he doesn't hit me with Don't Act. So we'll move right here and hopefully I can hit a few people here. Lightning Stab. Awesome. See, this is why Arlandi is so great. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, Orlando! Oh my god, did you see that? Oh my god! Nice. I was not even expecting... That was a useless jump. Okay, so we're down to one bad guy. <laughs> what the hell, Orlando? What is your deal, dude? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, well at least we'll get to see Nameless Song real quick here. Let's see what he gets. What do we get from Nameless Song? Re-raise, shell, mist, mist, regen. So you get a couple of cool things. I mean... Alright. <laughs> Check this out. We'll break his armor too. Armor won't help the heart stay sharp. Shell bust stab. Linen robe destroyed. No more armor for you. Okay, so that fight was a little too easy thanks to Orlando. Like, we were starting to get in trouble early on. Like, we were having some difficulty. Oh, Orlando, you're too good. <laughs> He's too good, isn't he? He's too good. Shit, maybe I'll see that poaching right now since I got nothing else going on. Oh, what do we got here? Cutscene. Dice a dark and Raffle. I see you have no intention of agreeing with our arbitration. His Excellency's wish to reunify the kingdom. Rather, until King Ornus is recognized as true king, we won't stop fighting. So you see, Prince Larg wanted Ornus to be king because if Ornus is king, then Ornus is a toddler. Larg would have to rule in his place. As long as the Bales live, we won't give up. Who do you think let you assassinate Duke Larg? What a thing to say. Larg was killed by someone sent by the Nanten. Which, as we know, that's not true. We saw Dysodarg kill Larg himself. Are you saying you sent the assassin? So you're definitely not going to cooperate? If we wanted to, we could easily beat you. Don't forget that. Us? Do you remember what the poison was that took out the Hoku Ten? Um, I think it was extracted from Moss Fungus. Right. Unless you take large doses, it won't kill you. But even small amounts over a long time can be deadly. Over time, you develop symptoms similar to a cold. You're not fully aware of your conditions until it's too late. Didn't your father die from cold complications? What are you saying? I heard you know a lot about poison. Oh, he's calling him out. But what are you saying? If you bury a body with moss fungus, the moss fungus begins to grow out of the body. Did you know that? Such trivial things. Oh yeah, I've got something for you from the high priest. What's he got? Oh, it's a stone. A holy stone. What's this? A holy stone from Maroned. He'd like you to have this to show his trust in you. Oh, Zalbag! Zalbag heard the whole thing. He was standing there and he heard them talking about poisoning Dysodarg's father, Balbanes. Oh boy, the tangled webs we weave, huh? Alright. So next time I'm definitely going to poach this red dragon right here. I'll keep the green one, but I'm going to poach the red one. So uh, be sure to join us next time when we poach a red dragon. Thanks so much for joining, guys. We will see you next time for more Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. Alright, bye.